welcome back everyone, Toys is here, and I am back yet again for yet another Masters of the Universe Origins, Masterverse, Turtles of Grayskull, Cartoon Collections, and whatever else Mattel is throwing our way because, well, I got all the deets on the fall catalog coming up, and that's what we're going to be discussing today. There are quite a few Masters of the Universe toys on the horizon. It doesn't look to be slowing anytime soon, so to reiterate, whether these will be online, a store exclusive, or just mainline, yeah, I would uh, safely say Masters of the Universe is, is still a thing, and people are still wanting these things, and they don't look to be going anywhere anytime soon. But pay close attention to what I'm about to tell you, because while there will be main lines, there will be exclusives, and I want you to be able to get the figures that you need. Now, before we get started, as always, if you are interested in anything you see here when applicable, I will have affiliate pre-order links down in the description below. Depending on when you see this, these are set to go live around, we'll say, usually midnight of the 27th of March, could be later on in the day, could depend on which store for the exclusives, yada yada. So keep all that in mind when they go live, of course, I will update them down below. All the links will be there, and everything here is slated to come out, let's say, from this date, <laughs> depending on when you see this, to fall 2024. So later in the year, you will expect to see these some way, somehow. Sounds fun. So to kick it off with Masters of the Universe Revelation from the Netflix cartoon show, we have Man O' War. And he looks pretty cool. This is the, well, so far, final form of Man at Arms, Duncan. <laughs> I like that he comes with several accessories. To be honest with you, with everything they've done with Masterverse. While I have kind of started picking and choosing the ones that I like, the ones that are really standing out to me, and also the ones that are really hitting clearance, if I'm being 100% honest, but Man of War in his white armor, he's got all these doodads, extra hands, splast effects. Looks pretty cool, if you ask me. Continuing on with Masters of the Universe Revelation, we have a Snake Sorceress. Tila. Now, this is one of those where everyone uh, seems to like this design for whatever reason, you sickos. <laughs> she comes with her snake staff, she's got extra hands, and she has a little wispy magic effect. It looks pretty spot on, I would say, from the cartoon. I actually very much enjoyed the second season of Masters of the Universe on Netflix. The first one was fine. It, it was like, yeah, that's probably the coolest thing I've ever seen in terms of the cartoon for Masters of the Universe. I know I says it all the time, and I'm not ragging on the people that like it. It's just a joke. But for me, the original Masters of the Universe is just hard to watch. <laughs> but I like old cartoons that also people say are hard to watch. So it's just meant to be fun. I'm not personally going after you. I could care less what you like, right? It doesn't matter and you should care less what I like. But Snake Sorceress Tila, along with Man of War, will be the main lines. And continuing on with main lines, you'll see Emperor Hordak. Good old Keith David himself. He was pretty cool. I'm glad that spoilers, I, I guess I have to say that nowadays, every single thing we talk about, but yeah, Hordak is still around, so if there ever comes about for a season three of Motu, I'm sure we will see him again. And then whoever was under the helmets in that last scene, is that supposed to be she -Ra? I don't know, whoever it's supposed to be, but I like the colors going on with Hordak. He was very menacing. He uh, kind of put up a fight. <laughs> Kind of, sort of. I mean, you expect these things to go a certain way at some point, but he was a big old powerful dude. He just didn't do that much. But it was cool to see the backstory with Skeletor and all that. Eh, it's fine. He comes with a big old bat staff. He's got his extra hands. Emperor Hordak. Pretty cool, right? Now, moving on. This one is actually really, really good looking, I have to say. And I'm hoping that the renders really facilitate that when you actually have this figure in hand. Of course, this is New Eternia Cyclone. So going from Revelation to now New Eternia, which is kind of, sort of, we'll say conceptual or thinking outside the box, 
so to speak, with Masters of the Universe. Cyclone looks pretty darn cool. All his energy effects. He's got his little hypno disc or whatever that's supposed to be. <laughs> and he's got some extra hands. He posed out nicely. The colors are great. He's got the extra mass. That's just awesome. I like it. I really like the way that this figure looks. I just got the origins off Mattel Creations. So now we have a Masterverse version. Continuing on with New Eternia, we have the Thunder Punch He-Man. I have the Origins version of Thunder Punch He-Man. It looks pretty cool. He's got the red armor. He's got the gold sword, energy effects, his little backpack. <laughs> Hey, there you go, right? In case he needs to carry his lunchbox to Castle Grayskull one of these days. He looks pretty prominent. I like the head portrait on this one. I think that's probably one of the best He-Man head portraits we've seen thus far within the Masterverse line, at least. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. I like what they're doing here with old Thunder Punch He-Man. We have New Eternia Merman, which is an interesting design. Kind of looks like he has little bug eyes on his chest, but hey, you know, that's just the armor. <laughs> He's got those gold-plated Aquaman underoos, kind of sort of like a loincloth kind of thing. There you go. He has his bonefish sword and spear. He's got his little aqua hands. He looks pretty cool. I like the paint on this guy. Everything about him, he just kind of looks like... He kind of looks like an Ewok, like a, like a fish Ewok, right? Something like that. It's the big old merman ears, whatever. This guy, he's uh, he's pretty interesting looking. Moving on. Now, this is one. This is one of my, my favorite characters from He-Man. I don't know. It's just wacky dude. And I like the suction cup hands that are usually accompanying most of these leech action figures. So from She-Ra, Princess of Power, we have Leech. I like the head portrait on that guy. That's cool. Now, whether or not his hands are suction cups, and I'm going to say probably not. At least they don't look like they are. But he does come with his really cool electrical bat, bowcaster, bow and arrow, handheld device, whatever it's supposed to be. And then he has his leech whippy thing that comes out of his wrist. I like that. That's a really cool design. Again, I like when they go real wackadoo with these new Eternia designs. Again, I can't say that he will actually be suction cupped in his hands, but at least it's a really cool princess of power. I will say that. I just remember when Hordak and She-Ra came at the same time and it just said princesses of power on it. It was kind of funny. Anyways, I know they're not princesses of power. It's just from the old show. I got gotcha. you. Anyways, Leech, he's a coming soon. And then finally, on the new Eternia line, we will be getting Skeletor. And I like the way that this Skeletor looks. The new Eternia Skeletors are always pretty cool looking. They always kind of just change them up. They armor them up. They give them some wicked new design. He's got a big old battle axe. He's got a sword. He's got some Havoc helmet situation going on. You can change out the little plates right there on his chest. That's pretty cool. I totally dig the look for this Skeletor. He has like a little chainmail kind of head going on, but then you put that, it's kind of like Willow, right? A little, a little Willow inspiration there. But uh, yeah, in any case, new Eternia Skeletor, you looking uh, pretty cool. Now, to move on, we have fan channel exclusives. If you're not familiar with that term, fan channel means online, usually in the form of Entertainment Earth, GameStop, depending on Mass Universe, sometimes they will go to Amazon as well. So. It's always one of those, so the more online sort of situations. Best Buy can be included, although I don't really think they deal with Master of the Universe all too much, but it's usually some sort of online retail, and then you won't find these in stores. But the first one, and I think a lot of people are going to be after this one, will be a 1987 Motu movie, Beast Man, which looks pretty cool. So if you've gotten He-Man, Skeletor, Evil Inn, well, now you got yourself a beast man to get after. And then continuing on with the fan channel exclusives, we have the Masterverse Skeletor with his throne. That's pretty cool. I have to say, it's this big old menacing bone throne. <laughs> God, I hope that's what it's called. It has to be called that, right? That, that's just, that's a given. At this point, it just has everything. It's a huge platform he's got all kinds of creepiness going on the skeletor that comes with it looks pretty rad 
I like this. If you have a really interesting, let's say, Snake Mountain and you got everything else from the old Mattel days and the Super 7 days, this will probably fit in nicely, <laughs> I would say. That looks really cool. Even with having the origin sets with Eternia and Snake Mountain and also Castle Grayskull, I mean, that would look pretty cool in Snake Mountain or just as a, a thing for origin. So, all you origin fans, you might want to grab this as well. So just stay tuned for more info on all these fan channel exclusives. Stay tuned to my socials. I'll have all the deets that you need coming soon. But this is kind of like a little tease, if you know what I mean. So, leaving the world of Masterverse, we are going to be heading into the smaller Motu Origins, He-Man Origins line. The original looking figures now all souped up. Better articulation, paint, pop the limbs off, make your own figure. It's pretty cool. It really does make for quite a toy line. They've done a great job in the last few years. They've done all kinds of crossovers and whatnot, but stranger things have happened, yes, because coming to Target exclusively, we will see a Master of the Universe, Stranger Things, He-Man versus Vecna. Pretty wild. So Vecna is now canon to Master of the Universe. <laughs> it's mashing all those 80s nostalgia points with Stranger Things, Turtles have done it, Ghostbusters have done it, of course, Master of the Universe, probably Transformers coming soon, all of that, right? They have to be, every single 80s brand is going to be just mashed up with everything until there's nothing left. But yes, like I said, coming this fall, Master Universe X, Stranger Things, He-Man versus Vecna. And I like how He-Man has the, the Hellfire Club looking symbol right on his shield. That's an interesting touch. Vecna is a terrifying looking monster with tendrils. There you go. <laughs> if you want them, Target will be the place to be. Heading over to Walmart, there are going to be a couple exclusives, one of which we've all managed to miss thus far. Thank you, Walmart collector con yes this one went pretty quick i always say that if they if, if it goes that route give it some time like don't freak out i would say eventually you will get this guy this is the motu origins terror he is the exclusive for walmart along with grass both of them instantly sold out whatever just wait give it a couple months wait till they start hitting store shelves which fingers crossed they will you might even find them eventually. I mean, they'll load them up. I don't know how many people actually want those, but there you go. You know what I mean? Terror. Hopefully, if you missed them like I did, we'll be getting a second chance. And then coming up, there will be more of a, a deluxe Crimson Horde Trooper, which is pretty darn cool, I have to say. He's gone the whole Palpatine route of having his little Crimson Enforcers. He's got a little robot pal, inner swappable, mix and match parts and pieces. You get the idea. That's pretty solid. I do like that. Of course, it's a Walmart exclusive. Go figure. But yes, <laughs> Terror, the Horde Trooper, Crimson Horde Trooper, and Grasp, Lord Grasp, Walmart exclusives. Yay, right? In the Origins line for fan channel exclusives, just get ready, we have Reptilax. There you go. Reptilax, everyone's favorite old reptile man. <laughs> That was the one where I go, sure, why not? But that's a great design, right? He's got an orange body. He's got a green snake man head. He's got a tail. He's got all kinds of green accessories to boot. That's pretty cool. I like the way that this guy, he's kind of like a snake dinosaur man, right? So that's just, that's really cool. It's, it's so creative about the Master Universe figures in this world. It just, it's wackadoo. I just love it. Love the way that these things come out. And then keeping on with, Snake Peoples, there will be a fan channel Vipor. So again, you're really loading up your Snake Men, Snake Men. I don't have that many yet. I'm still missing quite a few. <laughs> when everything kind of went topsy-turvy for a little bit last year, but rest assured, I'm on it. So again, we have Vipor, and then you're going to be getting Reptilax. So two Snake Men coming as fan channel exclusives later in the year. Moving on to the cartoon collection, which is all kinds of awesome, and I'm passing on all these. They look fantastic, do not get me wrong, but I'm passing on them. <laughs> I'm sticking with one element of Master of the Universe, and when that's done, I'll be good to go. First one up, Evil Lynn. 
looking pretty cool. She comes with a couple different accessories, ones that we have seen in various forms from Masterverse and Revelation and Origins over the last few years. I love the way that these are done. This, to me, when you see and you talk about that old He-Man cartoon, yeah, they have perfectly recreated these designs. And that's what's so great about them. But for me, because I totally ragged on the show before this even started, no, they're not for me. But hey, they're definitely very cool. And I love the attention to detail they're really bringing forward with these. Next up will be Clawful. He looks pretty cool. I like that, yes, he's very much a cartooned look. The accessory right there, you'll have to help me out. <laughs> Looks like something out of a Ghostbusters or Beetlejuice skull horn, or it's a skull fart cloud, something like that, whatever. You can help me out down below. But yes, coming to the main line along with Evil Inn, we'll see Clawful, as well as Web Store, which... He looks pretty cool. I have the Origins version of Web Store. I love the look of this character. He's a very spidery looking guy. He's got little pupils. It's, it's a very 80s sort of goblin kind of design, like Lord of the Ring, all that kind of stuff from back in the day. So I totally dig it. And he comes with a little animal friend, it looks like, a little green whatever that is. <laughs> And, of course, he's got his little backpack, which is totally cool. I love the look of Web Store. And then we have Spike Or. A lot of ores in the whole Master Universe realm. But, yes, Spike Or will have a cartoon collection spot. Again, various swap out parts and pieces. I love it. He looks, he looks very cartoony. He's got a little purple amidst the pink, the black boots, the whole nine yards. Looks pretty cool. And then I think the one everyone's going to be after because it's just so iconic, is Prince Adam and Cringer. Of course, pre-Battle Cat. And that's what, you know, talking green tiger. <laughs> Whatever. Anyways, you can aim the sword. You can blow him to pieces. He turns into Battle Cat. There you go. That looks pretty darn cool. And I just love, again, the overly cartoonified head portraits. They really have nailed it. It's great attention to detail. They've changed the bodies on these. You can stand them up a lot better, a lot more mobility than the classic Origins sort of style. Not by much. But again, like I said, they've done a, a great job in bringing these to life. And with all these figures, oh, you're going to definitely need a vehicle. So this will be the Collector vehicle. And when I first saw the name, because no, I didn't know the name, but I kind of laughed. I was like, is that like on purpose? But yes, your collection will continue with the collector vehicle. It's got some blowtorch fire elements on the side, little pincer claws. The best part, and I think the coolest part, is that it opens up. If you're wondering the size, you got three full-size characters you could fit in there. That's pretty rad. It's just a giant flying skull. You can't go wrong with something like that. It's like Skeletor's little flying Ferrari kind of thing, right? Except it's a giant face like his and it's got pincer claws. Anyways, all these look pretty darn rad. So not a bad lineup in terms of Masters Universe for Masterverse and Origins and all that. There is certainly a lot coming. I wasn't making it up. So get ready. If you're a Masters of the Universe fan, come this fall, you'll have a lot of more figures to grab. Now, to go from Eternia to now New York, and then we'll probably right back to Eternia with the whole Turtles, the Turtles of, of Grayskull. Grayskull. You gotta say it like that so it echoes. We're gonna be having a ton of figures as well for this line, which again, I'm gonna be honest with you, it's a line where I go, yeah, and then they do a couple designs where I'm like, oh yeah, that's cool, and then they do a couple more designs, I'm like, yeah, back to that. <laughs> Just because I'm a Turtles fan doesn't mean I have to like everything Ninja Turtles. It is good and there's bad, like with everything. But the first one up for the main line will be Skeletor. So as I said previously, I was kind of, yeah, some of these, I think the designs could be better here and there. Well, here you go. He looks like a, a mutagen looking Skeletor. Comes with a mutagen canister. He's got his sickles on on a chain kind of like a michelangelo ninja turtles thing there you go and all the weapons they even though it's master universe and they did the whole color coded it kind of reminds me of playmates with the ninja turtles line as well so there's a nice mashup nice nostalgia nice new thing that they're creating from two 
prior existing property. So again, Skeletor makes his Turtles of Grace Skull debut. If you were all wondering if Tila would be coming to the line, yes, of course she will. She comes with a giant sigh, basically. She's got some green armor. She's got a green turtle shell, kind of like Man of Arms, right? With his whole Donatello souped up armor is probably going to be the same thing here. Helmet comes off, daggers, the whole nine yards. Looks pretty cool. Displays well. Be a nice addition, again, if you're into the Turtles of Grey Skull line, you can add Tila to the old collection. Now, one of those that always seems to be a fan favorite, always seems to stand out, we have Casey Jones. He's going to come with a ton of accessories, which is always nice to see. He does come with his Eternian golf bag. You can put everything in there. All his weapons have spikes. Everything just looks... Pretty interesting. And yes, he will have his, we'll, we'll say Ram Man kind of looking mask, right? It's not quite Casey Jones. I mean, when you look up close, you get it. But if it was white, I think it would be a lot more effective. But again, all the weapons, they fit in the, the Man at Arms golf bag. That must be what he uses when he goes to play golf over on Castle Grayskull, right? It's stupid. Anyways, Turtles-wise, we're getting Stealth Ninja Leonardo. So we already have Leo. Now we're getting a different version. He's more of a, a Stealth Ninja. <laughs> and joining him will be, get this, Stealth Ninja He-Man. So they just all kind of pop on this Stealth Ninja gear. He-Man looks like normal 1980s He-Man. There's nothing crazy. He's not a big old mutagenic monster this time, so they must cure him or whatever, and then he comes with a sword and a bunch of pieces that you clip on and just have some royal fun with. And of course, joining the Turtles will be April O'Neil. She's kind of got the sorceress kind of thing going on, keeping in that yellow April O'Neil motif. She comes with a big old war hammer, which is definitely interesting. Big old bird wings. What could go wrong? Some of these photos, it's the only ones that I have, just keep in mind. Some of them you get multiples, right? You get to see every angle, but a few of these, it's just a one picture venue. Much like Hordak here. So again, Hordak is going to have these bat wings. I wouldn't say they've gone to Ninja Turtle with him in sort of that mashup. He just looks like a big old winged Hordak this time. Now, if they would have combined Hordak with Wingnut, maybe Screw Loose to something like that, that would have been kind of interesting. That's really the only thing I could think of off the top of my head. But yes, Hordak with the big old giant wings. Looks pretty cool. And then, of course, yes, of course, of course, Michelangelo will be coming to the line. And I got to say, I have done multiple videos on the Turtles of the Gray Skull, and I've always said the same thing. Why weren't they giving the turtle's like the stupid He-Man hair, right? Like this blonde locks. Well, <laughs> I takes back everything I said. They totally did that. And for that alone, that's pretty hilarious. The hair even comes off. So it's a wig. It must be something he just wears into battle, which is even more hilarious if you think about that. Like he just found He-Man hair and was like, I'm going to be like this dude. He's got his nunchucks. He's got his removable turtle shell, which is... Still wild to me, but he's got weapon storage. Michelangelo looks to be my favorite reveal out of the new Turtles of Grayskull. Well, until we get to some of these. So yes, there will be some ex store exclusives for the Turtles of Grayskull. I know, I know. Thankfully, these are at Target. So the first one will be Splinter. Splinter will be a deluxe figure, which, hey, that's always nice to see as well. He looks pretty cool. He looks like the old Playmates version, but now just really souped up, buffed up, like he got Power of the Force, Kennerfied a little bit. So that looks pretty cool. It comes with multiple weapons. He's got his big old shoulder pads. He's kind of like King Grayskull. That's really the vibes that I'm getting from him with the whole fur coats, cape, you get the idea. So you got Splinter a coming from the Turtles of Grayskull, along with Two Bop Steady. <laughs> and I saw somebody say this somewhere, like, oh, it would be funny if Bebop and Rock City were made to look like too bad. And I, I thought about that. I'm like, well, that's what they did. So that's really interesting. You get two weapons. You get a ball and chain, which is ironic. And then you get a big old sword. The designs, if I'm being honest, now I have to see these in hand to really make a judgment call, but from this one photo and one photo alone, 
not the best head sculpts or just not the best representations of them. They kind of look awkward, right? Instead of instead of meshing more with the bodies, they kind of look off in some ways. However, I digress. Reserve to see them in hand before I make any final judgment calls. But again, hilarious, funny, something I would like to have seen with Turtles of Skull. So there you go. Moving from Target to Walmart. I know, I know. <laughs> Walmart Collector Con, we all know. What happened with the Krang? Anyways, Turtles of Grayskull will welcome... They're listing him as Merman. And obviously, yes, that's Merman. But I see a lot of Mer-Dude in there as well. So I'm going to say Merman slash Mer-Dude on this one. Because I love Mer-Dude. Especially the old Archie comics with Mer-Dude and Michelangelo. Mer-Dude and Mondo Gecko. You get the idea. Sacre bleu! You got to do the whole French, like, ho, 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 kind of thing when you're talking about mer dude and really like lay it on thick you know what i mean one of me so that is pretty darn cool i like it and i like the whole they kind of got the mondo toys sofubi merman sort of deal going on which is a nice pearlescent like that japanese style toy i like that really brings to life the fishy element the undersea world all that pearlescent shell nature that they got going on so again walmart exclusive for mer dude merman <laughs> He's a, he's a deluxe, so at least there's a few things in the box. You can pop off the legs and have a tail. You get the idea. Looks pretty cool. Now, along with Michelangelo, this one would have to be another one of my favorites. I like just the look of this character. Also, it's just Leatherhead, which has always been one of my favorites. Ninja Turtle characters, Mutanimals. You get the idea. He's got the hats. He's got the, the bear trap or turtle trap. Right? It's like, it looks like an electrical field, I guess. <laughs> and then... Whatever that red piece turns out to be. But you get the idea. It's very much a motuified leatherhead. And for that, I appreciate it. I can't say that they've mashed him up with anything, which off the top of my head, unless you got a comment down below, you can let me know. But yeah, he just looks to be a very Master's Universe leatherhead, which, hey, that can go that route as well. And then just before we wrap up with the recent Mattel live fan feed that they did, they revealed some upcoming Mattel Creations figures that will be coming later this year as the Mattel Creations website expands. They're going to have new figures. So you got Origins and Masterverse are coming. So again, like I said, if you are a fan of Masters of the Universe, there's a ton coming. It's not going anywhere. I don't know where that whole rumor could have come from, but it's a coming and I think a lot of Master Universe fans will be stoked. So that's going to wrap it up for my look at all the new Masters of the Universe figures are coming from Motu Origins to Motu Masterverse to the Motu Cartoon Classics, New Eternia, Turtles of Skull, Mattel Creations. You're going to be spending a lot of money this year. That's for sure. At least if you're a Masters of the Universe. Like, I, mean, I mean, across the board, I take that back. Whatever you're really collecting these days, it's... Just one thing after another. But, come on. It's a lot of fun, to be honest with you. I mean, most of the time, even if we can't find stuff, you find it eventually. And hopefully, these will just all be readily available online somehow, some way. Like I said, if you're interested in anything you've seen here, I will have pre-order links when applicable down in the description below. And be sure to look for all of these coming out, like I said, from now-ish well into fall 2024. So you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Masters of the Universe, and I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, don't forget about Street Sharks. Street Sharks is, is kind of taking the Motu spotlight for me. I, I'm really interested in that line, and can't wait to see when those come out. When they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.